All right, guys. So today I have a haul of all hauls. <laughs> okay, so long story short, Eric in the morning, he was like, I have word that there is a lady that is selling her Viking, her glass Viking collection. We are going to go take a look at it. So it all started out that Eric was interested in purchasing some of these like glass Viking ducks. And um, she <laughs> told Eric she has way more than just the ducks, like hundreds of pieces of Viking glass in this collection of hers that she is looking to sell. So we went to her house and we bought a lot of her collection. Um, so long story short, um, when we got there, there were some pieces that, you know, she wanted to keep. Um, her whole story was she's moving to Florida and didn't want to take all of it with her or, you know, pack it up and that kind of thing. So we ended up buying a lot of it, not all of it. We didn't, um, you know, we didn't even take everything that she, you know, had for sale. Um, we just took the pieces that you know we wanted and she was the sweetest lady she even gave me I think it was two things for free um just as little like freebies as soon as we got there she had said like I don't even care if you guys are resellers I don't care if this gets resold whatever I just want it out of my house type of thing so um she did actually contact Eric again the other day saying that there's a chance she might come across some more stuff as she's you know packing things and that she'll get a hold of us if there is more things that we'd like to come and look at. So all in all, I'm going to share with you the haul. Um, I'll let you guys know what we paid for everything. I don't have any of it listed yet. So this is going to be a process of getting it all listed. And I'm going to try and show you I'll probably hold up three different colors of something and then maybe just like a pan of the rest of the pieces because there are multiples of a lot of things in like every freaking color you can imagine. And I didn't want the video to be so repetitious with showing the same thing in like 800 different colors. So on the way to her house, I did a quick look up of Viking glass sold highest to lowest, kind of got in my head what pieces to definitely look out for. I didn't know what she was gonna have. I had these pieces in my mind and the colors in my mind, but a part of me was thinking like, there's no way she's gonna have like all of this, you know what I mean? She did, um, <laughs> but like I said, she wasn't willing to sell all of it. She kept all of her uranium glass because she did have quite an extensive collection of uranium glass, but all in all, we spent $2,600 at her house. Um, so it's 93 pieces of Viking glass. So an average cost per piece is $27.95, which is not bad. There is some really, really great, very rare, very expensive pieces um, in this <laughs> haul of, of Viking glass. So we're just going to get started and I will show you pretty much three different colors, maybe give you a price on what those colors are kind of selling for and go from there. Okay. So one of the first things I saw when I was looking up highest to lowest sold with the Viking glass were these hound dogs. So I had in my mind the colors as soon as I saw them, it was a whole shelf. I mean, she had curio upon curio of Viking glass. Um, she also had the cats as well, but she wouldn't sell the cats and she wouldn't sell the angel fish or the uranium, the big, the, she had a really large uranium mushroom. So this here is what they call um, a hound dog, basically. I didn't even realize that Viking had all of this stuff. Like a lot of this is new to me. Like I didn't know these things even existed because I've never come across them before. So this hound dog here, this is a brown one. And like I said, with some of these pieces, coloring is everything. And some colors are just more desirable and more rare for whatever reason. So the brown one here is worth about $14 hundred dollars 
just for this brown hound dog, which is just insane to me. Um, so yeah, I definitely got some good colors of things. Guys, I love glass. I hate being around it. Absolutely hate it because I'm so clumsy and I'm just, ugh, I'm so scared I'm going to break something. Here is a clear hound dog. This one is worth about $800. Clear glass. I'm not a big fan of clear glass, but there is some clear glass biking stuff that's worth like <sighs> oodles of money. So another great one. Then we also have a black dog. This one's worth about $900. So we'll make our money back, I would think, fairly quickly. Um, so I'm not, I'm not worried about that at all. Um, most of the stuff will go on eBay, but some of it probably will end up in the booth. Next thing I have are these flowers here and they call these gypsy roses. So these come in different colors, um, very hard to find. Like when I was trying to look these up, I mean, they are scarce as far as like finding any listings and finding any sold listings. So this blue one is about worth $500 the blue one. These are really awesome, very delicate with that long stem. Also have this persimmon like orange color. This one here is worth about $265. These prices are going to be give and take because like I said, some there are none listed so they could go for more um, and some there just hasn't been any listed in a long time so it's hard to say if that value is still at that same price point or if it's worth even more or a little less i'm not quite sure yet and then we also have a green one we actually have two greens the other green uh the stem is broke off at the end but like i said these are so hard to come by that I still feel like someone will probably buy that one as well. I'm um, in the green, probably around the same price point of $265 for that one. All right, so one of the first things that we saw when we got to her collection was on the one windowsill, she had all of the Viking glass owl fairy lamps all lined up. Um, she grabbed the uranium off. She's like, you can have all of them, but not the uranium one because like I said, she collects uranium. So, I mean, my mouth just, it dropped open the minute I saw everything. But when I saw the owl fairy lamps, I was like, oh my gosh, because I didn't think in a million years I would ever come across them again. I mean, they are hard to find. Um, the first one I ever got, I found at an antique store and then Eric found some at an auction that we had gotten a really great deal on because people wouldn't, you know, dig through the box that it was in. So we ended up getting some for like $25 for the box. Um, but she's like, all of the owl fairy lamps are $30 a piece. Sold. I bought every single one. Um, so I thought there was a smoke in the collection, but there wasn't like a smoke colored one. It's like a charcoal-y gray color um, that I was going to keep for Halloween, but unfortunately there wasn't one. I thought that there was, but there's not. I already have a green and a red. Um, I may keep the red one just so I have two because I like to put that out like during um, Christmas, my red one. So I might keep that one. Eric was like, are you sure you don't want to just keep all of them? And I was like, Eric, I actually want to sell them. Like, I don't need a whole collection of owl fairy lamps. I just don't. I mean, in all honesty, I'd rather just sell everything and move because I want to move eventually here soon. So anyway, here's one of the owl fairy lamps. This one is brown. Um, like I said, none of this stuff is listed. So 
There might be more of a technical name of a coloring, but I don't know that yet until I go to list the stuff. So this might be more than just brown. I really don't know. Um, but this one here is worth about $235 for the brown one. Okay, here's another weird instance. We have a clear one. Guys, this one's worth about $675. Uh, apparently, the clear is really rare as far as the owl fairy lamps go. I know that's so weird. Well, it's weird to me because, you know, typically clear glass, at least for me, it's just not exciting, I guess. But, um, yeah, definitely a desirable one. So if you ever come across this guy, don't just look past it. I mean, I don't think you would anyway because one, it's a fairy lamp. Two, it's shaped like an owl. But don't let the clear, don't let the clear glass fool ya. Um, also have a blue one. This one is worth approximately $150 to $200. They're kind of like fluctuate in between those prices based off of solds. So, oh gosh. She only had one of these. This is an owl shaped ashtray in like a persimmon color. This one's probably only worth around $40 to $50, but I kind of just had to have it because it was an owl. So picked that up. This one is an alligator, again, ashtray. Uh, this was the only one she had of this like figural shape as well. And this one here is worth about $155. All right, so these are the ducks that Eric was just, you know, originally after until she had made mention that she had so much more stuff. These are very large ducks. Um, I think a lot of collectors call these heads up ducks because, well, their heads are pointing upwards. So this one here is a blue one. I also want to make mention there are none of these listed currently either. So again, prices could be worth more than what I'm saying, potentially a little bit less. Uh, but blue one, last sold, $145. So we like the fact that there weren't any listed. That's always a plus. This red one here is worth about $150. And then the amber here is worth about $80. Underneath, her owl fairy lamps, she had her collection of diamond point fairy lamps. Again, every single color you could think of. Now, when we were first, when I was first picking stuff out, I was being a little selective, like I knew which colors to go for. Um, but then after a while, Eric was like, just buy all of the fairy lamps. <laughs> so that's what we did. Uh, these fairy lamps, I'm pretty sure she was charging $25 a piece for. This was the first one I picked up because I knew this one was a rare color. They call this color peach. So this is the peach diamond point fairy lamp last sold for $399. This one here is a really pretty light purple um, worth about $150. I'm gonna show four of these. This is a blue one. This one's worth about 50 bucks. So like I said, some of these might just go straight into the booth, um, but obviously the more harder to find ones will be going on eBay. I also have this color, which I'm pretty sure they call thistle pink, if I'm not mistaken. And this one's worth about $222. So these are the more harder to find colors, I think are more of these, um, like what I would call pastel or like springy looking colors.
right, so I did get some mushrooms. These, like I said, everything here is Viking glass. So these ones are small little clear mushrooms, kind of with frosted um, stems on them. These here, the small ones, are worth about $100 a piece. Then there is a large one. Again, it looks just like the smalls, um, clear with the frosted base. This one is much larger, and this one's worth about, this one's worth about $295. Then I have this clear one. This one's also big, and he has a little frog attached to him. This one's worth about $126. This one here is an amber um, and clear glass with the controlled bubbles. This one is only worth about $40 to $50. I also have this set of clear, and these ones are actually all clear, no frosted. And I think these are pretty much worth the same prices, like $100 on the small and like $225 on the large. This little black one she gave to me for free. This was before I even bought bought anything from her. She's like, here, have this little black Viking mushroom. I was like, okay, thank you so much. This one here is probably worth around $200, which is just <laughs> insane. She did give up one of her uranium mushrooms. Not the large one, but she did let us buy the smaller one. This one here, worth about $499. So you can imagine, how much the large one is worth. It's insane. <laughs> All right, let's move on to something else. We also got a huge collection of the long tail birds. These are, oh my gosh, usually like, okay, I don't really find these very often. And when I do, the tails are broken. It's just one of those things. The tail is so thin and delicate towards the top. Like I feel like if I breathe too hard on these, the tail's gonna break off. Um, got a lot of these and again, based on colors, different colorings are worth more than others. So this one here, I'm pretty sure they call that thistle pink. It's worth about $325. This one is worth the most. They call this color tea berry. It's like a, a light purple kind of color. And this one is worth about $425. And then I'll show you another one. This one is like the frosted satin glass, a pink one worth about $249. It scares me to even lift this up, but this one is an actual lidded dish with the long tail bird on top. Blue lidded candy dish worth about $150. She only had two of this kind of fairy lamp and I had never seen these before. She said these are called uh, cabbage leaf is the design on them. So she had this blue one. This one is worth 80 to $85. And then the other one that she had was this pink one. Um, and it has kind of like a frosted base to it. Very pretty. And this one's worth about $52. So like I said, we pretty much bought every single fairy lamp that she had and you'll see more. She also had a bunch of these roosters. I think um, they also call these like the Kellogg's roosters. Obviously they're not Kellogg's or by Kellogg's, but people refer to them as Kellogg's roosters. Uh, she did want $50 a piece on these. So I was a little bit particular about which ones I was picking up. I didn't buy all of them. Uh, the red one was probably the one worth the most um, at a price of $500. Also have this blue one worth about $200. And then this one is that orangey persimmon color and it is worth approximately $130. She 
she also had a lot of these birds and these birds are called egrets again such a thin stemmed piece of glass my gosh biking why do you do this this stuff is so delicate uh, i'm gonna have to say a prayer after every package that eric packs of these things um we were scared even just getting them home but you know all went well so the green egret is worth about a hundred dollars here's a blue one this one's worth about 99 dollars and we also have an amber one again worth about 99 dollars So we got some more fairy lamps. <laughs> These ones were called the Paul Revere lanterns. I think she said she had all of them except for an amber one. And she said she was so surprised she didn't have an amber one because you'd think the amber would be easy to come by since it's a more common collar. Yeah, but she didn't have that one. So I pretty much got every single one but the amber one. Uh, but this one here is green and it's worth about $65. This red one here is worth about $40. And the blue one seems to be worth the most at around $115. This here is an apple and she actually gave this to me for free as well. This here is worth about $20 to $25. This would be so cute to put on like a teacher's desk. She also had a bunch of these fish. <laughs> they um, call these epic fish. Now these are, some of them, their tails go one way and some of them, the tails go the other way. And when people are collecting them, depending on which way the tail goes, like say they have one with it going left, then maybe a collector wants one going right, you know, so they could like sit them beside each other. So there's a little bit of a price difference on these. So here is a tail to the left that's worth about $100. And then we have a red tail to the right, which is actually worth around $150. So worth a little bit more. Here is one of those orange persimmon colors. This one's worth about $100, as well as a blue one worth about $130. She also had a bunch of these duck figures. They call these the fighting ducks. So they would have came together as the little pair, like one is in this position and one is in this position. I only purchased one set from her. Um, I think she charged $15 for this set. Um, it, but like I said, I only purchased the one set. Again, highest to lowest, the blue was selling the best at $100, so took those. Then I have two of these Potbelly Stove Fairy Lamps. Eric and I actually found one of these once at a yard sale. Um, and that was the only time we've ever, you know, come across them out in the wild. So this one here is like a gray color and this sells for around $112. This one we were a little confused by because looking at the top, it looks a little bit different of a shade. Like the top looks more red and the bottom looks more like a persimmon color. But when we were looking up other listings, these all look like this. So I don't know the story behind that or anything like that, but um, apparently they do go together and this one sells for around $80. So guys, that is everything. <laughs> so hopefully you enjoyed this video and you liked um, seeing kind of like an overview of the other pieces that we also purchased. Like I said, I didn't wanna go through holding up every single colored piece because I figured it would be a little repetitious. So I just showed the three and you know, current prices of what most are um, selling for or have sold for. But like I said, some pieces, there's just none listed because they're really just hard to find colors and that kind of thing. So just overall an amazing, amazing score. It's things like this that just, I feel like don't happen very often. 
And I always say to Eric, like, what are the chances of something like this ever happening again? Like coming across some amazingly great collection and then it happens again and it's like, oh my gosh, like I can't believe it. Sometimes I just feel so incredibly lucky that these instances kind of fall into our lap type of thing. Um, because, I mean, you could go to Goodwill for like, 10 years and never find I would never be able to buy like this greatness at you know 20 what did I say $27 and 95 cents a piece that's just it was such an insanely good deal and I'm so thankful too that you know she was even selling it because you know like I said there was other stuff that she wasn't willing to sell and just the fact that you know when you come across people that have these amazing collections and you know they're moving and they don't want to take the stuff with them it's so awesome to be able to buy the stuff before it you know someone decides to like call an auction house or something like that because then you know i would never get this at an auction for those prices like it's just it's not happening you know what i mean so i'm just so incredibly thankful that this opportunity even came about and we got all of these amazing pieces so it's going to be really fun to get this stuff listed and start making a profit on it like i said there might be a couple pieces that i might hang on to but for the most part it will all be for sale so if there's anything you see that you know might be something that interests you and you want to make sure that like i get it on ebay and say maybe don't put it in the booth so you have an opportunity to purchase it just let me know and i will get those put on ebay for you um but yeah i hope everyone enjoyed this video uh let me know what you thought down in the comments and i will see you next time